Technical issues there, uh, we'll talk about those very shortly. This is the one after the Boga goal. Welcome to Monday night's Tilt and Talk Show. Saturday evening saw Blues take on a very strong and organised Sheffield United side. And yes, we were pretty much under the cosh for large swathes of the game. Then all of a sudden up popped Boga and thundered the ball into the back of the net from distance. A wonder strike. Got to be in contention for goal of the season and hopefully cementing his place in the team for the foreseeable future. It could so easily have been two when the Duke simply should have put in a diagonal ball for what looked like would have been an easy tap-in. Had that have happened, there would have been no way back for Sheffield. However, the pressure eventually told and another defensive error cost us dearly. Still, that's a point I wasn't expecting, so not a bad day at the office. It's the Dirty Dingles up next and they're flying high at the top of the division. Can we shove a dent in their promotion hopes? Because form will go out of the window at this derby game. No clappers on seats, please. We don't need a repeat of a few weeks ago. So once again, it's on with the show. Strap yourselves in and get ready for the ride on the world's one and only Tilt and Talk show. It's what Mondays are for. A statement coming out of the Blues ladies camp. Uh, Birmingham City ladies goalkeeper Anne Katrin Berger has been diagnosed with thyroid cancer after undergoing recent tests. The condition was discovered and Anne is to have surgery next month. Anne 27 will thereafter continue her treatment and receive the best possible medical care and attention. A popular figure at Blues and the wider women's world of football. Anne is a in, a, a, in a positive frame of mind as she prepares to embark on this challenging process. The thoughts of everyone at Blues ladies and Birmingham City are with Anne as she will get all the support she requires from us. Blues ladies manager Mark Skinner said initially we were devastated on hearing the news about Anne. However, when we sat down together and discussed the situation almost instantly, Anne eradicated the fear and uncertainty. She is one of the strongest people I've ever met and uh, the way she conducts herself daily is a true inspiration to all of us. The club and team will ins uh, ensure we do all we can to support Anne and her family through this difficult time. I have total belief that Anne will beat this illness and strive to be back playing again in the future and until that time she will be a huge motivating factor in the group. Birmingham City Chairman and Director Juan Don Reng said, uh, added this news has come as a big shock and everyone at the club is thinking about it this time and is a part of our Blues family and we will help her in every possible way to come through this and return to what she loves doing, playing football. German born and joined Blues Ladies in 2016, June, from Paris Saint-Germain she established a reputation of one of Europe's best goalkeepers in reaching the Champions League final with PSG and won the German League in Potsdam in 2012 and competed in the FA Cup final in 2017 and the Continental Cup final 2016 with Blues Ladies. Any updates on Anne's progress will be provided via the club and I know that I know that I know that everybody here at the Tilton Talk Show and all you people out there wish Anne all the very best um, for her up and coming surgery and recovery time Chris. Yeah absolutely yeah um, it was a bit of a surprise today um, I don't know whether it's the fact the last couple of games um, she's taken a couple of heavy knocks mm. and I don't know whether those those checks checks on those injuries have helped in in finding in finding the cancer or whether it was just going to be found anyway like whether it was whether it was something that was ongoing anyway but yeah re really really sad news um, you said in the piece they're very very popular member of the squad um, with both players and fans um, and I think the way that the the women's football community has come out today and you know pretty much every club has has, has sent their best wishes and a lot of a lot of the fans on Twitter that I follow are sending the best wishes as well. So, um, yeah, absolutely, just best wishes out to out to Anne and you know f football aside. Yeah, absolutely. You, you put yeah. football to one yeah, side yeah. when something like this happens, and you just hope that she gets better soon. Well, the, the messages are absolutely pouring for yeah, yeah, also. yeah. Um, all right, okay. <coughs> Our apologies for the uh, um, lack of broadcast right at the beginning there. We think it might have had something to do with one of the tunes that we played. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes Facebook isn't very friendly when you, uh, when you play. No, nah, some, for know. some reason, even though, we, even though we're licensed to play, you know, license. anything, they sometimes just However, stop it. we're back. Uh, get sharing because that's what it's all about. We need you to share this uh, stream on your personal Facebook page for you to be a chance to win the competition prizes next week. 
Uh, we have um, to draw the competition out a bit later. I think it's your turn, isn't it? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll give it a go. go for it, Why not? Okay. Um, wow. Saturday night then. Okay, let's talk about that. Well, actually, let's. Well, I've got to have two debates. You okay. know, you know which one it's going to be, don't you? Yeah, I'm Even aware with, of what you want to bring <laughs> up. Yeah. A little tiny smile on your face. Yeah. Um, and uh, somebody can't join us till a little bit later on, so I'll probably have a little bit of a debate again later on when okay. when, uh, when that uh, individual. Uh, I don't joins mind talking about it. Later. Yeah. Man of the match, check and do check and do ladies and gentlemen. Man of the match. Man of the match. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> but it, you know what? It, <laughs> do you know what? It just shows how our opinions differ in football. You know, because I mean, some people see the game one way, and some people see the game a different way. Hmm. Did you? That's see all it I have way? to say about that. Did, really. you, did you see it a different way? Well, I mean. I don't know what I don't know what more I can say that I haven't said every week on this show. The the guy has zero technical ability. The, I lost count of the amount of times he gave the ball away. Um, and the, as, from what I can see, all he all he brings <laughs> is what <laughs> they can raise it and do his first pass at a Sheffield support. Well, you know, <laughs> but all, all all he brings is what a a relatively fit. Supporter off the tilt and could bring, you know, you you get a you get a fit supporter off the tilt and and ask him to play central midfield for Blues and he'll run around a lot and harry a lot, but it's it's no good when he's doing it on his own. Now, it, in a way, he's he's a little bit. I feel a little bit for him because if he was in a team where every single player pressed, then he might do. You know, he might look a bit better. Yeah. But the fact that he's the only one. <laughs> running around like a headless chicken, harassing people, you know, he, he just gets passed around in triangles so easily. And, and when he chases and they pass around him in a triangle, that leaves a massive gap then. I, I, I just don't, you know, it, it, it looks, listen, it looks great and, and, and it's the championship and, and it's renowned for being a, a hustle and bustle league and not not technically the prettiest at times, but you have to dig in and you have to you have to fight hard. Yeah. And and when he's putting a few tackles in and throwing his body in the way, a lot of the time he's throwing his body in the way because he's out of position or he's lost possession. But when he does that, sometimes it looks good and it gets people and it, it you know people notice it. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the comment, Darren Whitehouse. But absolutely no swearing on the chat box, please, if you could. Sorry, as we one. do have uh, small children that listen in, please. Um, right. Paul Gill says, Mr. Fun, would we have got a point without him on Saturday? Yeah, I think so. I think right. we could have done. I think if you've got Gardner or in midfield instead of Endoy, I don't think he changes. I don't think it changes the way we played. Right. Is the answer to that? So you you reckon the Skyman got it wrong then? I'm not. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. How how how? If you're going to give it a Blues player, I don't understand how you don't give it Harley. Harley Dean. Dean had a good game. Harley Dean was incredible. You know that whether he's he might have stumbled on it, Cottrell, or or it might be a well planned, thought out system that he's mm. done. But it's the first time in eight games that he's gone five at the back, um, and it worked a treat. It, you know, we looked. We've got, we've gone to a Sheffield United side that they didn't have a draw all season before that, and the reason they haven't got a draw is because they go hell for leather. They either win because they've they've gone for it, or or they've they've gone for it and they've been caught out of the back mm. like they did against Fulham the other night and lost five four. Well, you know that just shows you what sort what kind of side they are. They go for it hell for leather. So to go there when we're not confident and we're not in form and concede only one and get a point, I think is testament to to playing five at the back. It's a testament to the system. Um, and I think Harley Dean, at the heart of that, he was the one stepping out of the of the back three every now and then to to intercept. And you know he's he was excellent in the air. Um, <coughs> I thought I thought definitely he was he was man of the match. Uh, Stuart McDonald, if he played me for a hundred games, sure I could end up with man of the match uh, guarantee once if they give him a game against the Infidels on Monday, <laughs> and he's back as normal rubbish. He's not a footballer. Yeah, well we'll see, won't we? Yeah, yeah Monday's going to be a big test for him, isn't it? Well, it's 
it's it's the biggest test I think. Um, you know, this season he's not going to come up against a better side technically than Wolves. Mm. So so we'll see how how much he can get across along the pitch then. Some of our passing, uh, lots of people have commented on this. Some of our passing was absolutely woeful. Yeah, uh, Hotter. Uh, Hotter was very very poor. No. Yeah. I was expecting so much more from him to but be honest with you. <laughs> Every time he linked up with Boga. They were on the same wavelength. This is what I say about Hotter. Mm. He, he, the last few years, he's been used to playing for a very, very good, technically good Brentford side. And, I mean, they showed when they come to us, they, they, they played us off the park and they were excellent. Mm. Um, and he's used to playing with that. Now he's got to get used to, to not having that quick link up. So when he's trying to, his little, little touches to the side, you know, where he's trying to lay it off and, and get us moving a little bit quicker, it's not working, and he's giving the ball away a lot. And you know he's got to learn that sometimes he's got to t take a touch, have a look up. You know it, it might not be what he wants to do ideally, but if he takes, if he's got a little bit more time on the ball, then it's a hell of a lot more better for us. You know he's technically gifted enough that if he takes another two touches before trying to lay it off quickly, then he can still help us. You know he can still find passes, but. You know he's got to get on our wavelength. <laughs> Almost he's got to drop his level. Like I said, when he linked up with Boga, they were linking up quite nicely and they were finding each other quite a lot because because they are technically better players than what we've got on the pitch. Uh, Kev K says and Doy contributed massively to our defensive effort. He did. He, he and somebody else mentioned the the block that he put in as well, which you know chopped his body on the line for but, that one. And again, what what would a fan do? Get a fan off the tilt, and if you want someone to throw their body on the line, I don't want I don't want people throwing their body. Well, I do, but I also want if you know if I'm what if I'm paying to watch a professional football team, I want somebody who can keep the ball. The man cannot; he's got nothing in him technically. The amount of times he gives the ball away, I don't. I don't. Everybody loves people who who want to play for Blues, right? You know, this is this is what Blues is all about. Blues fans love that sort of passionate. Yeah. You know the word. How many times have we seen the word passion and and desire and commitment come up on the, on the pages? You know we want to see that, but I also want to see somebody who can play football. Okay, he well, can't. He got the sky man of the match because right. he's throwing himself in the way half the time because he's out of position. Another the other half of the time because he's probably give the ball away himself to cause the Sheffield United attack. Hmm. Yeah, so I. I I, d I just don't, I don't see it in him. I don't see a footballer in him. I see, I see what a fan would do. Okay. Um, uh, Carl Thomas doesn't matter what uh, Andoy is. He will always criticise. So let's forget what he thinks. Well, it's all about opinion, isn't it? That's why we're here. Yeah. If he if he turns up next week against Wolves, yeah. and starts playing defence splitting passes and scores a worldie from 30 yards and he bosses the game against the best team in the championship by far, I'll happily come on the show and say, what a performance that pass he put in for Hotter's third goal when we, when we scored our fifth against Wolves. I'll, I'll happy, I'll happily? Ha I'll happily, happily turn up. Yeah, of course I will, because it benefits us. Yeah, it it benefits Blues if he turns up and plays well. Interesting comment here from Gaz Beecham. Doy is uh, the one that everyone loves to hate. He will come good. Uh, have you not seen his goals? The pace of the game is different, and he can't speak the lingo. Give him time. Speaking English doesn't mean that you can pass a ball 10 yards to a, your own teammate. Being able to speak English doesn't help your passing ability. <laughs> that that doesn't that doesn't I'm not buying that. And Robert Dawes says you sound like one of those one-eyed refs we get down the blues. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Great, keep the comedy coming. Some, it, somebody show me, somebody show me a game where he has shown an, a hell of a lot of technical ability, good enough to be in the central midfield for Blues for Thank a championship you. side. You show me, you show me his technical ability that he's good enough to play for a championship team. Don't don't give me he runs around a lot, he chases people down, he gets he throws himself in the way of the ball. Uh, Greg says he's got the nicest boots. It's not helpful, <laughs> Greg. Not helpful <laughs> at this point. <laughs> um, so you're going to give him a chance, aren't you? You've got to. He's a blues player. It's a, he's a blues player. 
<laughs> I don't want him to give the ball away. I don't want him to give the ball away so I can come on here on a Monday night and say, told you he was rubbish technically. <laughs> Mark Winter says, uh, uh, Mr. Funt and Doy tr uh, tried. That is all we ask. But, uh, no, you see, you, uh, you've got to ask for more. You've got to ask for more than trying because just put 11 fans on the pitch then okay. because we'll, they'll try. Mm -hmm. You put 11 fans on the pitch and they'll bloody try. Chris Jones wasn't just Andoy who couldn't make a simple pass on Saturday. Most of the team... Like I said, Hotter, Hotter gave the ball away far too much. But, I, but we've seen enough from Hotter to, sh to say that he is technically good and he, he can pass a football, <laughs> you know. And and Boga was the boat, you know. I mean, we'll 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 talk about Boga, I'm sure, but sure, yeah. I, I don't know quite why he hasn't taken part in in the seven games before this one. But you know, he he's good on the ball. Bloody Stephen Gleeson come in against Forest and showed that he was decent on the ball. And Portsmouth didn't want him. Stevie Cow says he's not there to, uh, to play as a defence splitting ball. He's there to intercept and break up play in a physical presence I kind of agree with that but there's defence splitting balls and there's simple 10 yard passes but it, it that, he's, that he's giving but away it wasn't just him no I know I know but they, they give him man of the match Nick yeah. they give him man of the match the best player on that pitch on Saturday night was him apparently hmm. ok did you watch it? yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Did, did you like it? sorry? I think we got mullered quite, quite a lot didn't we? Um, I think so. I, first, first 10, minutes, I think we, we didn't have any of the ball. We didn't have any of the ball, and that's yeah. because we keep giving it away. And um, that's not just Endoy's fault, because I said a lot of the, a lot of the players give the ball away a lot. But apart from that one defensive error, which cost us another goal, that was. Uh, uh, and again, I think that's Hotter's fault. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think. I think the ball comes. You know, Kifton Bell doesn't win the tackle, but but you've still got men back. You know, and when the ball's laid back to Clark, he's got far too much room, and I think that's Hotter's fault. Oh, I think I, I think agree. I think Hotter needs to be tighter to Clark to stop him receiving that ball because he had too much time to take a touch and pick the corner. And unfortunately, you know, you've got three centrals there, and it's gone through one of them's legs, yeah. and Stockdale's got no chance. Nick, can I just agree? I I agree. I don't think he, he was man of the match. I would have gone for, for Dean myself. Harley Dean had, a, had an absolute cracking game. Yeah, well, I thought so, yeah. 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 But, but you know, sometimes these, like I say, you know, it's, it's a game of It's a, it's a game of opinions. had a good game. You know, there's there's lots of people on here tonight who, who, who like Endoy. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not saying I don't understand it because, you know, I'm a football fan as well. And when you see somebody win a tackle and when you see somebody throw their body in the way of the line, that is good. You, you know, you do want to see that, but I want to see a bit more. Uh, Lee Harris certainly doesn't agree with you. I'm sorry, Mr. Funny's talking absolute rug uh, nonsense. Reminds me of the time when he was adamant that the villa would stay right to the death. Let it go. A fan could do the same job. Question mark. Question oh, well, mark I've not got that faces. music. <laughs> Let it go. Yeah, could have had that. <laughs> okay, don't forget, guys, all you've got to do is share this on your personal Facebook page. You'll be in for a chance of a tranche of prizes for next week. Competition winner will be told to you. Well, around about half eight ish quarter. Yeah, it's not half. Something like that. Yeah, about half eight. Uh, Stefan Clarkson and Doy is a dreadful play. You can see th uh, the thought process going from his head to his feet and about one mile an hour. <laughs> it <laughs> I does. Don't, I don't but, see the point but of that's him what at all. I say. That's what I say. That's what I see in him. I see a player that is just clumsy. Hmm. You know, and, and he's, he's our central midfielder. And if we're going to play the way we played against Sheffield United, we've only got two of them because we're going to go three up the top and five at the back. You've only got two in midfield. Then hmm. you need to, you need someone. You need those two midfielders to do what Endoy does, but also keep the ball. Because if you if you've only got two central midfielders and neither of them can keep the ball, then you're going to have thirty percent possession against everybody in this league. Hmm. Interesting from Keith McCarthy. So many people are going to be eating humble pie over Hotter in six months' time. I, Let's hope so. I, ho I I hope so, and I also <laughs> I also think so because I think. I think Hotter, he certainly the way he's, the way he played for Brentford, you know, he's he had a couple of years at Brentford in this division. He's shown enough to sh to say that he can perform in this league, and when he gets used to the players, and when you know, if you've got a front, if we keep playing the way we played with the five at the back and three up front, yeah. and that three up front is Boga, Hotter, and Adams. Mm. We're going to trouble teams. Yeah, uh, Michael Quinlan, he the Duke should be getting all the stick you're giving to him. Doy, 
I think he had a, a really bad, a poor game. Uh, Offensively, yeah, he, he didn't do one, well. That one where he was through, uh, and two players to his left hand side, slim, simple diagonal ball. At least then Doyle could have hit the top of the stands with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to cheer you up, you know. I. But what? What if, they, what what if he had a passed it? My and defense Doyle scored. Perfect. Right? So how, how does that change all his game? Just because just he's put the ball in the net? It doesn't change his game. Right. It doesn't change what he's done. All he's done is he's, he's scored a goal. Okay. You know, it doesn't change the fact that he's not very good technically. But, I mean, the, the Djokovic one, I am going to try and defend him a little bit because he's a striker. First, first things first, he's a striker. Mm-hmm. Right? And if you're bearing down on goal, you've got one defender to beat and you've, you're in on goal. Right? If you're a striker... I want my striker to have the confidence that get it away from the defender and get a shot away. So the fact that he's tried it <coughs> isn't a problem for me. That's not a problem. It was, it was a little bit selfish, As there was but strikers are selfish. And they were very, very, very onside. Oh, yeah, there was no, no issue about that. No. But th- the thing is, I, I saw a few people say, get your head up and have a look. Mm. You know, he, he's, he's, he's not clever enough. He saw, he, he did look up, he did see... He did see the men rushing, run, running forward. You know, he chose not to pass it to him. He chose to go himself because mm. strikers are selfish. And if you've got the chance to get uh, the ball away from the defender and get a shot away, then I want my striker to have the confidence to do that. You know, if if he's three yards out and he's trying to pass it, you're saying, why aren't you having a shot? Mm, Dave Ridgeway, no way the Duke should have played and Doit in, no doubt about in it. In hindsight, he should have done, done, yeah. He in done. hindsight, he absolutely should have done. But if he doesn't pick and Doit out and he gets the ball away from the man and scores, then no, nobody, nobody's saying, oh, you should have played in Doit in. So in hindsight, he absolutely <laughs> should have played in Doit in. But the fact, he's got the, the fact he's confident enough to think, I can do it. He, you know, I'm happy to see that in him. However, he didn't do it. However, he, he fluffed it. Yeah. You know, I, I would prefer my striker to think, right, OK, I've got a defender and a goalkeeper to beat here. I've got two of my team players on my left-hand yeah. side. Slot that ball through. You put it in the net for me, mate. Well, yeah. That's just 2-0 up and game over. Well, it's not game over. Probably, I'll, no, quite no absolutely not. Mm. I'll, I'll, right, I'll, then two, one, I'll doubt that two, one, because two, they're, they're a very attacking side. But... 2-0 is a different game, isn't it, just before half-time? Yes, very much I'll so. agree with that. Yeah. It's, a, it's a completely different game. Um, but, yeah, like I said, in hindsight, you should have passed it. You should have passed it. Mm. Because if he does and it goes 2-0, then it, it gives us a hell of a lot of confidence, doesn't it? Mm. But I think offensively, he, was, he, he, he certainly wasn't at his best. Um, Adam Wilkes, he knew it was in Doyle and thought better of it. <laughs> Did, yeah. well, may, do you know what? Maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, we, we, I've sat here for 10 minutes saying I don't think he's very good technically, yeah. Ndoy. M- maybe he did. Maybe. maybe he did look up and see it was Ndoy and thought, I'll, I'll, I'll take my chances instead. OK, Adam Radig and Mr Fun, we don't play to Ndoy's strength, uh, which is his aerial ability last season. He scored eight goals from people crossing the ball into the box and he got on the end of it and we don't do that. We don't so much, do we? Um... Mm. Do you mean putting crosses in in offensive areas? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think we do. Not enough. Um, <laughs> if that's if that, if that is his ability and Gallagher's probably, just certainly Gallagher. Hmm. I mean, what what? I don't know what he's got against Gallagher as a centre forward. I don't. He plays him left wing when Adams is fit, hmm. and then when Adams isn't fit, and you've got the perfect opportunity to play Gallagher up front, he drops him. Hmm. I, I don't know what he's got against Sam Gallagher being a centre forward. Um, I, I would rather have that than, than Djokovic playing. Mm. And uh, Greg says we're over the moon with a point. I think we ought to be for, uh, up there. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it's a <clears throat> tough place to go. Yeah, very much. You know, uh, Fulham won 5 4 the other day, but that, that's, that's the way Sheffield United play. They're going to go for things this season. You know, they're playing without fear. And, and they're trying to win every single game. Mm. Um, so to get a point from them it, it is a good point. Um, the, the goal was, was exceptional. Um, you know, with 20 minutes to go, when they score, you, my, my immediate thought is, I, I don't believe we're going to hold on here. 
you know, 20 minutes of the Alamo coming at us, it's, it's going to be really tough. I was but having, a couple, having a few points with my son who busted his foot yeah. Yeah, in, the, in, the, in the Black Swan. Uh, we were in the back room, yeah. not, not the room that we were in that time. And um, I, 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 I'm bursting to the loo and I'm thinking, oh, I, know, I know what's going to happen if I go, if I go, you know, they're going to score and this mm. and the other. And, and I kind of jinx myself, if you know what I mean. Mm, just, yeah, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. just crazy. Um, oh, that's gotta lovely. say a very happy birthday to my brother Pete <laughs> in New it's Zealand. Good to see Chex join the show. Hey, <laughs> there he is, hexagon man. <laughs> um, yeah, my brother Pete, uh, happy fifty fourth birthday, I think, today to you, and also to little Amy, who is eleven today. Happy birthday to you. Um, getting back to the football, uh, Stockdale. Yeah, massive improvement. Yeah, um, I, I think. I think it has to give the the defence a lot more confidence. More so, you know, he, he obviously he's there for his shot stopping as well. Yeah, yeah. But you know, coming for crosses, I think they're a lot more confident. And, and it's certainly distribution. Distribution was certainly so distribution. Better. I'm not knocking Kuzak, yeah, right? But, uh, uh, well, no, I'm distribution not, wise, I, I, I am. Yeah, distribution wise. As a goalkeeper, you know, definitely. he's done enough for but us. He's, but he's 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 certainly put his you know. Um, Body on the line as well, yeah. so many times. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, them, them point blank well, shots. That he can you know, we've, we've a couple of one nil wins against Cardiff yep. and Forest, and and he's made big saves in those games. So yeah, absolutely, um, big save against Villa as well to get us a point. So he has made big saves. Mm. Generally, as an all round goalkeeper, Stockdale's a lot better. Chris would leave that photo though. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that that Ndoy picture moves quicker than Ndoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bleepy Razy says that's got to be a red card for you. Oh, uh, here we go. That's yeah, definitely a red card. Smiley Lots of smiley faces going on. So yeah. Um, what's the difference between Brock Madsen and Sam Gallagher, Mark? Frankly, difference. Um, goals. Hmm. You know, Sam Gallagher's got experience and he's got previous for scoring goals in this division last season. Um, I, th I think I think he's a much better all-round player than Brock Madsen. <laughs> Paul Gill, uh, Chris Brown, can you please put the Andoy picture in the middle so Chris Pugh has to look up to him? <laughs> <laughs> don't you just love him? <laughs> You'll love him, don't you? Hey, nice one, Paul. Yeah, Thanks for that, dude. <laughs> If we're going to moan about players uh, not completing passes, we'd better get rid of and Stu and Doy, Magoma, sure, Davis yeah. and Gleeson. They're all below average at passing the ball. Yeah, but on you a can't get rid of all of them. So no, nobody <laughs> left. Yeah. But, but you need to play. You need to play your best ones. You know the, the guys who can keep the ball better. Mm. And Stu again, really, really poor. Mm. Really poor in possession. Um, caught out What's a couple Collins of times. Injury? Um, uh, it was a hamstring, wasn't hamstring. it? I think. Yeah, so gonna be he went off like three minutes. After, um, yeah, he was carried Brentford, off, wasn't he? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you hope it's not too <laughs> it's long. But... Move, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> above him. I've moved it. Yeah. Let's go above him. Oh, we've moved it now. Okay. <laughs> Um, special guest on the show tonight, Czech and Doy. <laughs> he's not saying a lot, but he's here. Yeah. He's here with us. He can't say a lot, apparently. But <laughs> Check him out. Uh, Adam Walker, the amount of miss kicks and absolutely no game plan to try and control the game. You've got to remember, though, Adam, we were playing Sheffield United, and they are a yeah, very, we very, very cute side. They're a very good side. Very they good. are a very good, but they're, and they're very attacking, which, which is what, you know, it's difficult to play against them mm. because they just can't keep coming at you. Um, but I, that, that's my, that's a, a worry I still have about the manager. You know, I'll, I'll credit him for playing five at the back because we looked, we did look a lot sturdier in defence. Um, all three of the centre halves played pretty well. I thought, you know, Morrison. We give Dean a lot of cra a lot of credit, but Morrison and Roberts <coughs> were good as well. Um, but I, I do worry that we're still scared of teams rather than having a way that we play. Well, Kev Kelly says, can we uh, take the positives out of the game? Stockdale, Harley, Dean, Boga and Keith Yes, yeah, we can. The, Absolutely, we can. But uh, after every game, you try and take <coughs> the positives out of it. You know, if you, if you look at it, <laughs> if you actually look at the game as a 90 minutes, you know, f sort of from a neutral perspective, we basically sat there and, and, and defended, tried to defend for 90 minutes and our goal was a worldie from a, you oh, know, so, crocky, yeah. so it's not a well-crafted goal, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's, it's a worldie, so... Yep, if we want to see the goal again, let me know. 
Yeah, we'd love to see the goal again. Mm. Why wouldn't we? Because it was such a stunner. It, it was. It was, it was a brilliant goal. Do you want to yeah. see now? Sorry, I've only got yeah, two. Yeah, go on, then. Go there. There we go. Give me five, four, three, two, one. When you're ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it. There you go. You can talk now. And what a strike it was. Boom. Oof. It was. Absolutely cracker. Look beauty. at this. Absolute beauty. Bang. Marvellous. Mm. Yeah. Um, however, air, Airstream might be a little bit behind yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing all that out of sync. Who cares? Um, <laughs> Sheffield United have a side that were promoted um, and have built on uh, what was good relatively. We have a new side from Ray. Wow. We do. Um, you, you still, you still. I mean, our best players were, you know, you, you got Keiston Bell there still. You know, who every game is is becoming more and more important in that midfield, isn't he, Keiston Bell? You know, he, you, you can't imagine the way he's played the last four games that he was left out at the start of the season. Mm. Um, and Alan Osborne says, well, if you look closely at that video, you can see Czech and Doy in it. <laughs> <laughs> What a joy. <laughs> it was uh, um, a very good stroke, fair play to him, um, from Ian. Yeah, it was. Who spells his name backwards. Well, I don't but know he, why you, you know what? That, he, sh he showed so much ability that why wasn't it? What, where has he been the last seven games? <coughs> why wasn't he involved in the last seven games, Berger? We don't know. At all? I don't know. I, really, I don't know. Somebody, somebody's got to. Well, I say somebody. The manager has to. Has to Answer for that, but check. Uh, sorry, um, Boga has, has, has answered himself, really, hasn't he? He's, he's, he's so answered he himself for his in future. His game, yeah, and for, you know, and scores a world certainly game. faded a little bit second half, but certainly in the first half, he showed. You know, he, he's running at people, running past people. He's got pace in him, and and he's shown that he's got an unbelievable goal in him as well. So, you know, it, it makes absolutely no sense that he hasn't been involved at, at all, even coming off the bench. In the last seven games? Yeah. yeah, great call from George Ellis. Boger isn't going to be here for long, so utilise his quality, leaving him out as showed. Um, yeah. Well, it says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean, like I said a couple of weeks ago, he started mm. Chelsea's first league game of this season. Mm. You know, Antonio Conte thought that Boger was good enough to start the Premier League season in, a ch in the Chelsea eleven. I'm sure and, that his last goal was against Barcelona. In a friendly? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it might have been in pre-season. Yeah, yeah, pre-season, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, but apparently he's not good enough to play for, for Blues <laughs> for seven games well, when we're struggling yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. We've, we've standards to maintain. See. Yeah. Uh, David Osborne, <laughs> Colin Jenkins and Bramall, any news? No, unfortunately we don't get no, to... Uh, no, unfortunately not. To that information. <laughs> the, the, the sooner the, the first two of those... <laughs> Colin and Jenkinson, the better. Yeah. yeah oh, dear. Yeah. People are on form tonight here, aren't they? Uh, What's that? And, and Doy created the space for Boga to score. Did he? Oh, oh I see. Get out of the way. Well, who, who knew? Did you miss a trick there? Yeah, apparently so, yeah. No wonder he got man didn't, of the match. Didn't see what, that, a player. Yeah. what a player. <laughs> what a player. We signed Sheffield United's best player 15 months yeah. ago. How things change mm, for Paul yeah, yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, Jack and Doy is messy in disguise. Um, I don't know, Keith. I might have to argue that one slightly. <laughs> uh, it said, uh, going back to the Bogue thing, suggests Bogle wasn't possibly doing it in training um, from David Osborne. I don't like that, though. Because, you know, you speak to ex professionals, lots of players look, who have been brilliant over the years have looked terrible in training. Yeah. You know, and. <laughs> And that they they show up and turn it on, um, in in match days. So. Mm. 
Um, you've, you've got somebody who has clearly got way too much way too much ability for this division. David Curry, four managers and a split camp give Cottrell time. Yeah, quite like that. Uh, let's talk about the big issue, uh, not the football. Why can't you pay on card at half-time to get the beers in? Um, because you have to pay for car for, Beach car for the car payment services. And they probably don't want to. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. I, cost is the only thing I could imagine. Mm. But um, I don't know. And David Osborne wants to know how were the pies in Sheffield? If anybody could say, if anybody had no a pie, idea. then let him know. Uh, when Jose Mourinho parks the bus, five three two, he's a genius. When Steve Cottrell has no clue, not having that, I think Steve is turning it around inch by inch. Kevin Kelly. <clears throat> I see what he's saying, but it's 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 a bit different, you know. Any Mourinho side knows. Any Mourinho side knows that they've got the ability, you know, to to, to break forward and counter attack. You know, if, if they did that, then you know you, you can sit there and defend. But we, you know, we went there. We had Djokovic up front, who was obviously there to hold the ball up, and he was hoping that Boga and and Yotta would do something special. Boga did do something special, so we've got a point out of the game. We certainly did. Uh, Dennis says and he was running in that video, albeit in the wrong direction, but he was running. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm but, not saying he doesn't run. That's all he does. All, all he does is run around. And again, going back to Boga from Chris Woodley, uh, Boga was one of the few bright sparks in Red Nap games. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I, mm. I can see that. Yeah. Uh, Scott Strange, how is Harding not getting a game or not playing? So, um, I'm, I, I can't, I can't disagree with that. You, you know, I, I'm not in Sue's biggest fan, but certainly not in Sue's biggest fan. So, if you offered me Wes Harding at right wing back or in Sue, I would go. I would certainly go Wes Harding. You know, I've, I've, the idea is to have Jenkinson or, or Colin back as soon as possible, and you've got an experienced right back there. Mm. I think Colin at right wing back, and if Hotter's going to play on the right side of the three. Those two have worked together before at Brentford. They link up well together. I think there's, there's certainly something there that you can build on them. Stephen Gill is asking, do you think we should sell Lukas Jukovic in January? No, I don't. I, I, I still think he brings something to us. <clears throat> and, and defensively, from set pieces, you'd rather have Jukovic there than, than Vassell or Adams, wouldn't you? Mm. You know, it, it's, it's the way you set up. It's, it's what you want from, from your striker. Cottrell... Cottrell's picked Jukovic not because he wanted him to, to beat everybody for pace and get him behind the defence. He's picked him to try and hold the ball up when we, look, when, we, when we try and clear it long. And, you know, defensively, from set pieces, he, he's better in the air than, than somebody else would be. So. Mm. Uh, Adam Kinman, do you think Steve Cottrell should be sacked before January if nothing improves for Blues? Well, I think that was a vast improvement uh, on Saturday. Saturday to what was, we, was a, to what we had. a monumental improvement. But now we've got a monumental game but coming up You've got to keep Monday. it going because there's no point. You know, we've, we've had this under Cottrell. He started, he started perfectly with the Cardiff game. You know, and then, and then we've had a couple of iffy games, and then we get Villa, and then another couple of iffy games, and then Forest, and <coughs> then we get beat. We, we haven't spoke about the Borough game. We get beat far too comfortably at Borough on, on Wednesday night. Um, you know, so and and then we've had a good game against Sheffield United. But so you need to you need to build up a bit of momentum. That that you know Cardiff. How how poor were Cardiff against us? Well, how good were but we you know, against them? But you, yeah, yeah, fifty fifty. We <laughs> we were we were good. They were they were terrible, you know. But it's that momentum. They 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 go again then, and then they pick up. I think they've won like three or four on the bounce now. Mm. Uh, Dave Osborne's asking, how do we play versus the Wolves? We cannot be doing with the Alamo for ninety minutes. Well, it's gonna be. Mm. Yeah, it's it gonna is. be. It's gonna be yeah. because we're, we're, whether we we can play our best team. And every single one of them plays 100% to the best of their ability, and we still don't we still don't get a sniff against Wolves. They that they are well, I, they're, they're a team top, to beat. They are a top ten Premier League team. But we've done right very, now. We've done very very well against the rest of the top six. We have, we have. In comparison and, to all and, other and games. And maybe maybe maybe, <clears throat> I, I think my only hope is that they'll underestimate us. Mm. That we uh, their best players out Neves. You know, so that's that's their midfield tick gone. You know, he's suspended. 
for five yellow cards. Yes, he is, yeah. So that's a massive boost for us because, you know, he he makes everything move for them. Mm. He's you know he's that good. How long is he out for? Oh, he's just, just suspended. So it's just five one, yellow cards. So it's just the game, one game against one us. Game. Yeah. Well, um, proves, well yeah, it? exactly. <clears throat> but even without him, you know that they are. By far and away, the best team in the championship. And as Desbox says, they are the Man City of the championship. They are at the moment. They but are, they yeah. Could they could be are. dented, and they could. You know, but they'll things, they'll drop points. Things they'll drop happen. points as the season goes. But overall, I think they'll win the league by like ten points. Yeah, uh, unless we get stuck in against Wolves from Ray, we will be chasing shadows. Couldn't agree more. But we have got to get stuck in, and that's what the you know a, a local derby is all about, isn't it? Yeah. It, well, it is. You know, you've you've got to show commitment, and you you can't let them. Um, you can't let them roll over us. Mm. Um, but even, even if we do try and get stuck in, and even if we are committed, uh, technically they are they are far superior to anything in this division. And and I'm sure every team who's played them has thought we'll we'll try and kick them, you know, and, and we'll try and kick them off the park and disrupt their flow. But it's not worked yet so far. So, but hopefully, but but again, when we have the ball, because. We're not going to have a lot of it on Monday night because they are, they are going to keep the ball for a hell of a lot of time. So when we have it, we've got to keep it. We've got to keep it so much better than we did on Saturday night. Yeah, Roy Haywood says if we had 11 and doys, we would be <laughs> top of the league. That's not. That's not. I'm going to have to. I, what, I, might, I might have to resign. I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's well, definitely and a suggestion from Paul. Paul Gill, Tilton Talk live from stands on Monday with Nick's fan interviews. Uh, the Tilton Chris Pugh getting to know and Doy Chris Brown sorting out the pre match entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm, I'm happy to it's interview like and Doy. <laughs> and uh, Daniel Ruane is asking and Doy or Gleason for you. Oh. Against Wolves or generally? Uh, I, I, I think, let's I think go against Gle Wolves. I think Gleason I think Gleeson will keep the ball better. Yep. I mean, I think you'd probably keep the ball better, but certainly Gleeson, I think, will keep the ball better. <laughs> you see me trying to get out of the car. <laughs> but, you know, so, uh, like I said, uh, we need to keep the ball a hell of a lot better than we did on Saturday night. Because mm. if we just keep giving it back to them, they, they're going to make us pay. Mm. So, the, the best technical players but they also need to put a shift in. Okay, lots and lots and lots of people asking about what oh, we're going to no, do no. for the show next yeah. week. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be here on Monday because we'll be talking to nobody because hopefully we'll all be down in the blues. I'll be there. Um, if we win, should we do one Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm happy Tuesday, yeah. I'm you happy, happy to Tuesday? do one Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I'm happy to do one Tuesday. You're okay yeah. Tuesday? That, if, if, we, okay. if we win, we'll do one Tuesday. I think we'll do one anyway. <laughs> I think we'll do one, yeah. And have we organised a Christmas Tilton Talk special? Well, things are in plan. Our people are talking are to their people. <laughs> well, of course they are. Oh, of course they are. Right, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Course yeah, they are. Yeah, You've yeah. got to be positive. I don't mind going out and going for a curry or something. Uh, a Tilton Talk special, that would be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Then the Jalabi, huh? then Country Road, very nice. How many seats is it? I'm going to be a bit posh for you, pair though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get out of the bath to have a wee in the sink, me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, Post-match phone-in, please, guys. That would be good, actually, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. A phone-in next Tuesday. We just Tuesday. haven't got the staff. How would we do that, though? We haven't got the staff, have we? Um... Well, I don't know. You could take... Some, yeah, only what, I don't know whether it's possible... Four or five numbers, and we could just... Mm. We could pass it across, could we not? On the Tuesday? Unless we, the get, Tuesday. unless we end up in the George. Yeah, yeah. But having said that, it's a lot of kit to take and... Well, we'll just do it, it on our phone, yeah. like my uh, Deadline Death special one. It'll just, it'll, just be, it'll just be poor quality. Mm. Oh, what do the no, people got, want? Got, yeah, talk, no, talk, what we want. What do the yeah, people yeah. want? I've got a plug-in mic for your, for your phone anyway. Should we do one from the George or should we uh, do one it's on like the Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah, Wait until Tuesday. We'll do it Tuesday. 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 No, okay. Yeah. Talking on a, a, a phone in on Tuesday then, yeah? Yep, so okay. the, the first proper tilt and talk phone in on Tuesday to discuss yeah. the Wolves game. And let's hope you're all in a very good mood, eh? <laughs> so, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Super Six this week, I did rather well. Moving on. I forgot. Yes, I know. What an oh, idiot. No. You get you, how can you forget you get you get emails and everything off them to tell you to you Make know. Make sure you do it for Saturday. Uh, 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 are we still on the same subject? Yeah. Uh, no, let's talk about the man of the match, shall we? For the <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Who was the man in the left, by the way? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure someone will tell us in a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, OK. okay. Um, watching QPR versus Brentford with the sound down, the boy Woods is absolutely running the show. I uh, wish we could get him in January. Doubt he had come, though. He's, um, QPR Brentford. He, he looked... He was the one who made them tick against us as well. You know, we were picking the ball. <laughs> and Doyle's invited us all to his for Christmas with Mr. Fun as the turkey. Oh. <laughs> we're not even into the last half hour yet, and they've started. <laughs> Do the show from the Jalabi, somebody just said. <laughs> what, on Monday? Yeah. Do what, sorry? On Tuesday. Do, do it from the Jalabi. What's the Jalabi? Do the Jalabi. It's, it's up Indian down the road. Really nice. Okay. We'll have to have our... Tumbles. I'm going there tomorrow, by the way, as well. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Book it, then. Yeah. You can't for Monday, we've got a game. No, no well, not for Monday, for an, another Monday. Oh. I'm pretty sure they would. Okay. <sighs> what do the people want? It's not what we What's want. The, what do the people want? What do the people want? want? What do the people want? <laughs> Chris Brown, Super 6 tomorrow night. Chris Brown, do not forget. There you go. Oh, of course. Cool. There's a midweek yeah. Super no, 6, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long is Bogus loan? I believe it's a year, George. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. will we go down or stay up from Steve Dino? We've got enough to stay up, mm. but what you know, you look at the table, and <laughs> you've got to think Sunderland will get out of it now under Coleman. Um, I think they'll get out of trouble. <laughs> but Bolton and Burton, I think, will struggle. Mm. So that you're looking for one more to drop, aren't you? Um, Millwall aren't playing very well. Um, maybe, maybe you, maybe you're hoping that Bolton, Burton, and Millwall will be the ones who will who will stay down there most of the season. But it's, you know, we've got to get ourselves out of trouble yeah. rather than hoping, for hoping for other people to to drop in it. Yeah. So, there's always there's always a team at the bottom that runs into some form towards very it. Serious, well, very serious, yeah. yeah, very serious question. But, from, you know, it's November still, yeah. just about. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, very serious yeah. question here from David Osborne. What are your guys' opinions on Keem and Nans? Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of Keem well, I'm a Peshwari person. Yeah, so I am. Yeah, I like, I like the coconut yeah. and sultanas. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> or just the plain garlic. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and Doy owns Jalabis. Mr. Fun is bad. <laughs> Is that the real name of it, Jalabis? Mm. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. yeah. It's famous in our street. <laughs> cool. Hall could slip, says David Osborne as well. They, there's another one that could... Yeah, uh, they could. You would imagine that once they sack their manager, uh, it, you know, if, if they appoint wisely, then, mm. then they've got enough to get out of it, I think. Um, but they could. They, they're certainly in... In a very low mood at the moment. Yeah. Uh, as Brett Stanley says, also Hall struggling. And Robert Doyle, we want Mr. Fun to admit he loves Undoy. His distraction tactics are not working. We can see straight through him. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's impressive because um, I'm not admitting. No, no I'm not going to. So I'm still waiting for the Undoy hat trick. Hopefully it'll come on Monday. Well, well, Hopefully it'll well, come if Monday. we're doing this in another 80 years, we might have time to, <laughs> to get one in. <coughs> Sean Carey, do you think we need to sign players in January, or do you believe the players we have are good enough and just managed properly, uh, properly and need stability? I, th I think there's, there's certainly areas we can improve on. Um, you know, somebody who can keep the ball in midfield, somebody mm. who's who's good in possession and calm in possession in midfield, would be one. Um, well, Kev Kelly's saying it's imperative we recruit in January to force ourselves up the league. Yeah. Then, mm. then you've got the worry of uh, another split in the camp because you've got another another manager's set of players, if you like. But if, yeah. if the manager's strong enough uh, and he's sorted out the problem of, of, of split, of the divide or whatever it is in the camp, then, then it, it's not a problem, is it? Um, you know, I, I, I just don't get, I, I, I don't get the that we're the only team who have a disparity in wages, and therefore that's the reason that there's that the players don't get on with I each other. I think it possibly every could have been because we had we, we were on such a level under under Rowett. Club yeah, but we were we were on such a strict budget under under Gary Rowett. Yeah. And probably nobody was earning, you know, anything above, I don't know, what, five grand so a week what, or something like what, that. What are the kids <coughs> on at Wolves who are in the first team at the oh, moment? I honestly don't know. And what's what's the kid what's the bloke they've bought in for sixteen million quid on? Mm. It's you know we're not the only person we're not the only team who who, who have that disparity in wages. Hmm. 
And David Osborne says, maybe a January move for James McLean. I'll get my tin hat. You might need it. <laughs> yeah, you, I think you will. He'll need it, I think. And should we try and sign, sign Ashley Cole again? Well, I don't know. I think no, do, do you know what? Uh, no, I think, yeah. I think that was a... You certainly, I don't think you'd get Ashley Cole with, with Cottrell in charge now. Do you know mm. what I mean? I think that was a red nap. Mm. Can red nap get a big name in? Do you know what I mean? So. Mm. If and Doy was a waiter at Jalabi, his dishes would end up on the wrong table. <laughs> I've just seen that one. <laughs> and Dennis just says Jalabi's do a twelve ninety five buffet and Doy's a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> is, almost, it, is it nine o'clock yet? <laughs> we're almost into the last half an hour. The last half an hour normally ends up in. It uh, seems to be in, stretching in, 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 half hour. It seems to be stretching yeah, like further to three quarters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost, yeah. Uh, uh, Chris, for Bauer Baller, we, we have to worry about financial fair play, I suppose. You know, our club turnover isn't that massive, I wouldn't have thought, is it? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> who, is, who is passing financial fair play? Mm. Um, you know, the, the amounts of money some clubs are spending is, is, is certainly not in conjunction with their turnovers. You know, there, there's a way around it for everything, so... Gregory uh, Beasley's getting a little bit festive. He's saying 12 points at Christmas, 11 Chinese overs, 10 Mr. Funds, 9 open goals, 8, Zoo, uh, eight Trevor Francis, 7 Zulu Warriors, 6 Tony Ones, 5 home wins managers, 4 points a win, 3 League Cups, 2 FA Cup finals, and he's left that one open. Hmm. Yeah, Benji Smith saying we don't need another overall. I quite agree with that because I think this one's been quite catastrophic, hasn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> I, I know we weren't great in possession against Sheffield United, but the way we set up and, and there were signs that there is something there, you know, that you get somebody who can keep possession and those players get used to playing with each other. That there, is, there, is, there is potential for, for a, a, a half-decent, you know, possibly mid-table, possibly playoff pushing team there. Mm -hmm. You know, you go Stockdale in goal, that back three, Colan right, Grounds or Bramwell left, Kifton Bell and a, another midfielder who's good on the ball. Check and do it. No. Shotter, no, no. Boga and Adams up front. That's <clears throat> or, or Gallagher up front. That's that's a good team. Mm. And that's got potential. It's, it's certainly not a relegation team. Robert Dawes says, check and Doyle's found out where the show is being uh, broadcast from. He's on his way around now to have a quiet word with Mr. Fun. And he's got yeah. the smelly flag to rub in your face. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a week without the smelly flag being mentioned, would it now? Yeah, Mr. Fun, if you were manager, what would your team selection be for Wolves? And what would your team talk be like? <laughs> team talk? It's a good job I'm not a manager because I wouldn't know what to say. Um, I think I think the only changes I'd make from Saturday would be in Sue out, possibly Dakers, Cogley, possibly Harding, if Colin and Bra and Jenkinson aren't fit, and Gleeson for Gleeson and for Endoy. And I think maybe Gall it depends whether Adams fit. I, I I tell you what, I'd go um, Davis for Gleeson. So I'll go Davis and Keefton Bell in the middle. Somebody did put on the uh, on the chat box earlier how refreshing it was to see Davis not in the team. Yeah, but do you know what? Against Wolves, he, he's not gonna he's not gonna go lightly <laughs> against his old club, is he? And I'd and I'd swap Jukovic for Gallagher or Adams if Adams is fit. Mm. And as for the team, for the team, Adam J. Chambers, uh, Chambers says they did look less divided on Saturday, and they all applauded each other at the end, mm. which was a uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that that might be a that might be a just a you know a, sh a shadow if you like. Just a we're letting everybody know that we're getting on after the last yeah, game. You yeah. know what I mean? But you hope the only thing we can do as fans we we don't see inside the training ground. We don't know. We don't see what goes on every not every all, week. All. So all you can do is hope that hope that you, they are improving and they are getting better at that. Big shout out to Steve Planty. He says, great show, guys. Parked up in my truck in Tarragona, Spain. Heading back home to Mercia. Keep right on. Have a safe journey back, my friend. Safe journey. And thank you for listening. Uh, and doi or Maradona? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a lot of people talking about, you know, which striker would you, would you bring in? And um, somebody just mentioned here. Oh, golly, losing him. Lost him, lost him, lost him. 
Mm, right, okay, you now I'll get it. back to that. Which striker would you like to see uh, coming in the in the January? Is this a day? sign? Yeah. Um, uh, right, I've got it uh, from uh, David Osborne. I'd go for Tom Bradshaw for a striker at Barnsley, at Warsaw. Uh, yeah. His name was branded around early part of the season, wasn't it? Yeah, well? I think about a year and a half ago as well, I think there was there were, there was rumours about him. But if, if you've got Adams... I mean, obviously the Vassell injury has hit us. You know, maybe we do need to bring an extra body in because of Vassell. Yeah. But m maybe it's just a loan, a loan thing. Yeah, but there's, there's plenty of players in the Premier League that aren't playing strikers. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I thought... You look at the, through the Scott Liverpool Danny Ings mm. at Liverpool would be perfect in this division. Mm. Get his fitness back. Get scoring goals again. You know Shane Long's another one at Southampton who's come out the Southampton side. Um, there, there, there's quite a few. Um, you know, a, maybe in January have a look, have a look and see which which Premier League teams aren't playing their strikers, uh, and see if they would be willing to loan. Because I think I think if you've got if you've got Gallagher, you know, if Vassell was fit, you've got Vassell, Adams, Gallagher, Jukovic. I think that's a, that's a decent enough four. Mm -hmm. um, now Vassell's not there, you probably would like another one yeah. to, yeah, to come yeah, in yeah. As, as cover. So, a good shout here from Stuart McDonald. If we get a draw against Wolves, I can believe we will win at Fulham, and that will be the turning point for us. We'll clear the relegation zone, but not make the top six. So we could be on a positive top six. in the next two games. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you want you want an unbeaten run, you know. That's what you want. You you want to you want to stop the rot of other teams picking up three points and yep. you're picking up nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, it, like I said, we've we've had a tough run. We beat Forest. You know, I, uh, we lost at Middlesbrough, but then we've got something against Sheffield United. If we yeah. can get some against Wolves, we go into Fulham, uh, uh, you know, with a little bit more confidence because. We've we've just taken on the top two back to back. Yeah. If we haven't lost to either of them, then then you can go to Fulham with a little bit more confidence. Uh, welcome to Penelope Wood. She's just joined us, and she wants to know what you think of Czech and Doy. This was the lady that I said would be in later. Oh, and, okay. Uh, so so you've got to have a, you know. Got to go through all of what I went through <laughs> in the first half hour again. <laughs> first hour, <laughs> um, Czech and Doy has no technical ability. Okay, we'll leave it there. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it's all coming in now. Paul Sargent and Doy couldn't pass the parcel at a Christmas party. <laughs> well, yeah. <coughs> That's probably the best one I've heard all night, to be fair. Uh, if Ndoy was a waiter at Jalabi, is that waiter right? Jalabi, yeah, yeah, the, chicken, the chicken bolty would be sitting on Mr. Fun's head, the naan would be up his nose, and the chamois would be stuffed in his ears. Mm. Hey. What do you think about the headband line? Too bothered about headbands. <sighs> What the Anis band? Yeah. No, it's got to go. Oh. It's got to go. How can you head a ball? Come on! Oh. What? How can you head a ball? Why are, you, why are, we, why are we fussing <laughs> over a headband? Oh, God, no, yeah. Why not come out no, with no, headphones on? Oh, uh, no. Boy. It's the most yeah. bizarre thing. Why, why do people get <laughs> fessed up over stupid things? <laughs> it's like, interesting! Two of our players, two of our whole squad could pass the ball <laughs> ten yards and we're worried about one of them's headband. If it's a nice headband. <laughs> What's uh. going on? It's one of the best headbands I've ever seen. Oh dear, dear me, dear I me. I like headbands. Ooh, gosh, 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 gosh. To so summarise, no, I'm not really fussed about his headbands, to be honest. No. Okay. We'll leave that one there then. Um, would Mr. Fun throw a clapper at Undoy? No, you're not allowed to throw clappers. No, 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 no. That's definitely, uh, well, yeah, that's definitely a red card. Yeah. And Ray says Undoy couldn't pass a Dutchie on the left hand side. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, can we stop talking about it? <coughs> Uh, right, James Ray, if we can push out the bottom four by Christmas, I'd be on the phone to Bournemouth asking to take Graben off uh, Sunderland. Sunderland yeah. Well, yeah, 12, yeah. 12 goals in the team bottom of the league, yeah. and he's been brilliant all yeah. season. And how many goals have Luton scored? 49, yeah, 48, 49. Stupid, isn't it? Yeah. What, what, we got in, all, in all, they're a, in they're all, a yeah. far superior team for Luton. Yeah. They're the Man City of League Two or the Wolves of League Two, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's, they're, they are they are the standout team in that division, and but when when they get going, it's difficult to stop them. Hmm. Uh, Stevie Smith says we need to look in lower divisions. There are gems to be had; just need a chance. Yeah, there are. Um, we used to have scouts to do. What, that, what you do we? want, what you do want, though, is you know that that's that's taking a risk a little bit. And if you listen, if you're in Ipswich, yeah. if you're mid table. 
then then all all well and good. Have have a dip into League One and Two and see if you can find a gem. But actually, if you're fighting relegation, the the people you've got to bring in have got to make an immediate impact. Immediate impact. And well, a Premier League player. We, we lost that, didn't we? we well, didn't yeah. Know. And a Premier League player would is more likely. I'm not saying it, it happens every on on every occasion, mm. but it's more likely to. To, to make an impact. Kevin Kelly's asking, which loanees do we return in January? We need to release funds to recruit. Um, I'm not sure on, on what I mean, the, the funding is, so I don't know. No, I don't know either. Um, <laughs> and, and we won't know until the end of January when we, when we find up how much we've Sorry, spent. just going back to Luton. Benji, Benji Smith says most of the Luton goals have come from Andy Shinney. Well, he's, a, he's probably a very good player in League Two. Mm. But, you know, he wasn't good enough for Blues in the Championship. OK, it's competition time. Uh, no, it's not, because Chris Murray's just gone. On. On He's just gone. <laughs> just up and, up and left his position. <laughs> I don't know. Where did we get the staff from? Um, bring back John Terrell, says Adam Kinman. And Anthony well, Lloyd. Uh, at Hull, isn't he? Erin Oxema and uh, Bakiyako. Oh, yeah, I like Oz. Would be I like to- Oxema from Warsaw. Um, you know, he's, a, he's, he's another one in... In the hotter mold, if you like, a you know a diminutive, smaller player, but he's he's technically good on the ball, and and he scored a, quite a few good goals as well. And Gregory Beasy says, which Blues players have worn headbands to Gary, Trevor, Hockey, Hotter, and of course our own Darren Carter. Well, yeah. You know, to Gary. Okay, okay, everybody okay. everybody okay. going, oh, we can't play to Get him out because he's wearing a headband. <laughs> that, that bloke who's just saved our Premier League season, who's just scored a back heel yeah. goal against Charlton. Oh, I do. Oh, I'm so worried about his headband. And uh, yeah, Eamon Colley, yeah, where are the scouts? I don't know. I don't know what the um, the setup is down at St Andrews anymore. I don't know. You don't no, hear no, that yeah. name very often these days, do you? No. He's a scout. Mm. Uh, do you think if Ndoy wore a headband, you'd find the back of the net? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's after half past now. They're allowed to do this. They're, not, no, they're never allowed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenny, Tarbuck, Jenny Tarbuck says it's pretty poor when you slate your own players shouldn't we be getting behind our players look what the fans did to Grands last season I do agree look how Grands has come back by the way I do, I do that's agree, another yeah. one you know Grands has been fantastic the last six could end up being the six player six season mm. <laughs> how ironic would that be but yeah. you know, who, who was it who said that Jenny was it? yeah Jenny yeah. So, yeah. I, I'm yeah. certainly not advocating booing in Doy every time he gets the ball but if he's not playing you know if they're not playing well, don't just sit here <laughs> and say, oh, never mind, maybe next time. Mm. You know, you, as fans, you've got the right to voice your opinion. Mm. And if you don't think somebody's playing well, then, then you can say it. Mm. But certainly in the 90 minutes, get behind them. And when you disappeared, Miss, Mrs. Brown, Robert Doyle wants to know, have you gone to get a new headband? <laughs> 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 gone to let Chuck and Doyle in. <laughs> Okay, competition time then. If we can oh, have yes, the trophy sorry. through, yeah. sir, we'll do this one. Uh, all you need to do to be in the competition is share this on your personal Facebook page. And um, we then put all the names into this very large trophy, which is going to be the Tilton Talk Super 6 trophy next season. Uh, somebody will be winning this. It will be staying here with your name on it, but somebody will be winning it because we need it to pull the um, to pull the names out of. And our winner this week is, drum roll, we've got a drum roll. Can we get a drum roll? I've yeah. got a drum roll. Yeah, it's, drum roll. It's, it's Lee Harwood. Lee Harwood. Lee Harwood. Lee Harwood. There you go. Well there done go. to Lee Touch Harwood. Me. That's marvellous. Marvellous. Well done. Uh, Mr. P- Mr. Fon a pound in the giggle box, please. That's a good idea, wouldn't it? If we have a smile box yeah. instead of a swear box, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, right. then, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, I think we need to make one. Can we make one for next week? A yeah, sm- A sure. smile box. Yeah. Hmm? See if I can find a money box in the shape of a pair of smiling lips or something. Do my best to make sure nothing goes in that. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Oh, yeah. uh, dear. Oh, right. And... Yeah, Jack Storer from Daniel Wayne. Well, what's happening what? with him late, lately? I don't, I don't... Honestly, I don't care. No. What's happening? To, he, he should be absolutely nowhere near our thoughts. The man's a complete lunatic. Apparently, Chris Baller says he's playing in non-league. So well, yeah, he's, he's had so many loan spells where he's had to come back because he's fighting everyone or he's not happy. I mean, he went, he went to Yeovil, didn't he? Yeah. We made the point. How'd you get in trouble in Yeovil? He yeah. somehow found out. But I think yeah, Gloucester City or something is that. 
Uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, Michael Quinlan says Andoy would need a 50 pence shaved headband. <laughs> Yeah, it was a bit harsh that one. I think somebody's just said that they are with his one two weeks in the trot. Yeah, I'm straight on you. He has, yeah. I say. Yeah. He won last 153 to 1. Wow, wow, wow. What was that, Chris? Sorry. He won last week as well. Second win in a row. We might have to do another draw, do you think? That's if Lee is acceptable. Oh, well, his name's out of the heart. He didn't come He didn't come through for last week, so. Mm, okay. Uh, Robert Doyle, blind me. Mr. Fun don't like headbands, don't like undoy, don't like clappers, don't like the flag. No, I don't, do mind, like? I don't mind <laughs> headbands. I've got. <laughs> wear headbands, wear whatever you want. <laughs> Would you wear one? If my hair was as long as hotter and I thought it helped, my, helped me when I was playing football, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I've absolutely no issues with headbands whatsoever. I don't get why, why there is, why some people have got an issue with people wearing them. <laughs> Can you three dress up as tennis players next week, please? Uh, no. No. It's no, no, <laughs> no, no, a very strange that. request. It is, and, yeah. Uh, Mind you, Gregory is a bit strange. So. Quite a few yeah. people saying bring Keita back. Yeah. Um, I did like him. Five at the back probably suits him more than four at the back. But Grant, Grant is doing okay. You know, I don't, I don't think he's doing much wrong at the moment, Grant. Um... I don't think this. I don't think he will be coming back. Um, I think. I think if he was to, five at the back would definitely suit him more than three, uh, four. Yeah. But I don't think he will come back. Uh, this time, and it's not certainly not the one position I want right now. This time last week we had the uh, Blues Trust in two wonderful gentlemen, uh, Cliff and Richard. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to get back in Good in show. a few weeks' time after after the new year. Um, but the Blues Trust is all about kind of, it's kind of, I don't know, almost like a scrutiny over the things that happen at St Andrews at board level, really, mm. isn't it? Uh, and if you want to get involved, then you're very welcome to. Uh, but next time they're on, we should be advertising it very well. So we want to up the membership quite considerably. Uh, yeah. 2018, October 2018, is uh, the date that Blues can officially be sold on to yeah. a another. And October 2018 is also the same month that the asset of community value runs out on St Andrews. Mm. Uh, I'm not a conspiracy theorist normally, but um, you know, I think it's I think it's a just, just, just chance. Really more just than, more than but, anything, but. Um, so if you want to get in. Involved with them, then it's certainly on the Tilton Talk page from a week ago. I'm going to put it back on. I'm just going to put it back on. I mean, so the one the, the thing I'd say is, football fans, you know, a, a lot of the time they bemoan the fact that they can't, they don't have a voice at their club, and they don't feel part of their club. Um, you know, and, and and they feel that the boardroom level is is way over them, and and that they can't they can't make their opinions known and. And they can't have a say. Mm. But if you, if you join something like, if you join the Blues Trust, you know, and that, and that membership goes up, mm. there, there is a say. The more, fa really ex the more fans that are involved, yeah. exactly. there, there, there is a voice for fans there. I think it's about a fiver, I think. Not much. I think, you know, I think so. that's about all it is a year. Yeah, about yeah. Five. five pounds for a year for your membership. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, uh, and like you say, that. The, there is every possibility in the future that they might like to start buying shares. Well, uh, one thing yeah, that's, they, they, I think that's they, the They aim, spoke about that last week, yeah. didn't know yeah. whether there was the the possibility of buying shares in Birmingham Sports Holdings. Other clubs who have own, done it. Other clubs who own Birmingham. It, yeah. Yeah. You know, so I, I, if that was the case, if that was the route that they were going to go down, mm. the more Blues fans that are involved in the Blues Trust, the better. Uh, Mrs. Brown, who was the girl that sung mm. Mr. Blue Sky over Boga's Gold, please? Now, that was okay. actually... Um, that, that, was, that was Connie... That, that was arranged. Connie Talbot, wasn't Connie it? Connie Talbot, now, yeah. She sung that especially, especially for this for show. Especially for the Tilton Talk for this, show. For so this we'll, show. We'll be playing more of it. And it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really, really nice. nice, very yeah. nice version. It's really nice, yeah. uh, But it's Connie Talbot. Uh, you can get her on YouTube. Uh, she's she she's the, the girl who won... Was it X Factor or was it Britain's Got Talent? One of them. One of them. Local girl. There you go. Um, Connie Talbot, C O W N I E Talbot. There you are. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I've got it on the system, <laughs> or else I would play it. But... Uh, Don Rain says you never know. Blues might uh, win the first division next season. Well, they might. They might not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> and uh, can you get a signed headband as a prize, please? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh dear. Anthony Lloyd says Keith was injured. Sure, he hasn't played uh, for for the longer. I don't think. I'm not sure to be honest with you. I really don't. Know. Well, but then then again, I saw somebody put what What's wrong with Bramall? You know, I, I yeah. didn't see anything wrong with Bramall. No. So we, we've got two left backs that that I'm pretty comfortable with at the moment. Mm. You know, so getting Keita back or getting another left back is is certainly not at the top of my priorities for January. Where would your priority be in January? That central midfield. Central midfield. Central midfield. Get somebody who can pass the ball in central midfield. Mm. Um, the, the Ryan Woods from Brentford. Bleep crying it. out for someone like that. Yeah. Bleep Razy says 2-2 against Wolves on going. It's nearly Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whatever happened to Evie, uh, a listener from the past? Well, she listens in occasionally, I think. Yes, yeah, but that's about it. So. Uh, an Andoy poster signed by Mr. Fun, a surprise. That would be brilliant. And how much money will Blues get in January for transfers? We don't know. No, got a clue. no. That's obviously um, you, like, Possibly. Depends whether they trust Cottrell, Cottrell or not, really, yeah. doesn't it? Mm. Um, you know, there, there's quite a few games to go before before January comes around, so I, th- I think they'll be waiting to see what Cottrell does in, in the next five or six games as to how much money they provide him or whether he's got to go in the loan market. Yeah, and some of the names that have been branded about, yeah, Luke Freeman would be a good signing from Queen's Park, that's from Anthony Lloyd. Mm, possibly, yeah, but he's, yeah, I think, I think you want somebody with a bit more, you know, I mean, he's, he, he's good on the ball and you know, he, technically he's pretty good, but s- s- just somebody who can sit in that midfield. You know, I think Freeman's somebody who's mm. who's quite attacking, t- attack minded. He wants to get forward. But Stephen Smith has suggested Danny Hilton at Luton. Yeah, he's a striker, isn't he? Yeah. So yeah. There's, there's quite a few strikers <laughs> being named on, on there that I've seen. Yeah, um, but again, again, you, you're taking a risk on a on a League Two striker coming up, but. We got Vassell from Luton, and, and he was looking the business before yeah, yeah. before he got injured. So so maybe the same would happen about. What's the uh, Butland story? The what story? The Butland story regarding we may get we may even get a transfer boost if the Butland story is true. Does anybody know? Anything? No. no. Oh no? well, well I, I imagine that would be um, rumours about him being sold by Stoke, right. and we'd probably have a oh, sell-on sell on yeah. oh, right. contract. Okay. Good, good. Um, I keep going, I don't know why, I keep going back to this remark, <laughs> can you three dress up as tennis players next week? I don't know, I don't know why Some, somebody's Gregory gonna suggested that, that one. No. So, yeah. Matt Steve, Wilkes. Well said, <laughs> Matt Wilkes. <laughs> Steve, Steve Smith said, Kiefer Moore at Rotherham. Yeah. Again, it's a striker. Yeah. You know, but it, it's easy to look at, <laughs> uh, look at League One and League Two and who's top of the goal-scoring charts, you know, and... and do they play the same way as us? Do they play, you know, what are their strengths? You, you've got to look at different... <laughs> Sorry, go on. But I think he's on loan from... Yeah. Um, I'm not sure where he's on no. loan from, actually, but I think he's on loan at Rotherham, so... Adam Wilkes, uh, if this was a Twitter feed, hashtag Undoy would be trending worldwide tonight. <laughs> Yeah, it would. Uh, Steve Dino says we need another Undoy. Cottrell out Pulis in Premier League next year. Simples from Sean Carey. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, yeah, Walsh from Undoy. Everton from Matt Wilkes. Well, yeah. that's exactly what I said. Where we've let somebody who's good on the ball go in in Walsh. We've let yeah. him go back. Yeah, it's, it's baffling, baffling. But and Michael Quinlan says bring through Ronan Hale. <clears throat> well, that's, again, it's another it's striker and. If he hasn't got the transfer funds, then maybe the likes of Ronan Hale um, get get a game. And Kev Kelly's confirmed there's a sell-on clause for Butland. Yeah. Uh, Benji Smith, this pains me to say, but we should go all out for Barry the Drunkman Bannon. Oh, he well, probably damn. sprays the ball about. He, he does. You know, yeah. I, I don't like him. I, as a, you know, the fact he's ex-Villa and not really particularly endeavoured to him the way the way he goes about his business, but. But on the pitch, he he is he is very good, and he is certainly somebody that would keep the ball for us. And George Ellis, people are slating on Doyle, but he wears his heart and his shirt. So would we. Again, you stop your model. Stop then. praising you people. Your model. <laughs> stop praising people for doing what a fan could do because we'll just put eleven fans on the pitch. Stop praising. Don't give a professional footballer praise for but wearing his heart on his sleeve. Sean That's Kerry. not a quality. Yeah, Sean Kerry bringing Ross McCormack. He loves blues. Oh, 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 yeah. He'd be, 
<laughs> if he turns up on time, I yeah. think he got suspended by Melbourne City again for for um, turning up late to try and in the same way he did for Villa. So yeah, uh, apparently quite a lot of people have views. Thank you for that. Butland is linked with Chelsea in today's press. Oh, okay. Oh, thank thank you. You. Well, could be quite a nice sign yeah. clause then. Yeah. Really nice <laughs> sort of sit, sitting on the bench. And not My yeah, suggested yeah, yeah. Duffy from Sheffield United. We're into the last ten minutes. He now, played so well. Yeah. yeah, he played well against Sheff- on on Saturday. Duffy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, impressed with him. Yeah. yeah. Hey, um, Matt Davis, Gardner. What's happened to Gardner? Oh, got to know. be a better option. Got to be a better. Well, you've got, you've got a guy there. You, you you talk about throwing your body on the line and wearing your heart on the sleeve. That guy is a professional footballer and a Blues fan. Right. If you want somebody who wears your heart on your, how much criticism has he got? Nobody yeah. would put in more of an effort than Gardner. No. Mm. What do you think's wrong? I have absolutely no idea. That's, you know, there's strange how, how many players that have, have we looked at this season and gone, what, Why? What, what's happening Where there? Have they gone? Yeah, yeah. What is happening with well, this Fontaine, Ian Fontaine's just written injured. I don't know whether he is or whether he isn't. Harley Dean looks like a blues player from old. Shame we can't push him into the midfield. The, mm. Yeah, we, it, we, it, we do you know what? He's right. Him at the back, though, don't it, we? Yeah, it it's a good call, yeah. It is. It, he, the way he come out is in the second half, especially Sheffield's not trying to go through the middle, mm. and three or four times in that second half, he's come out and intercepted <laughs> and brought the ball with him. Mm. You know, which, which is a quality that we haven't had this season. That, that's certainly so. Maybe if you bought another centre half and you and you went three at the back and you went Morrison Roberts and another. So say you say Bramwell come back in, mm. and you could play Bramwell left wing back and grounds. In the in the back three, and then maybe Dean plays mm. in the middle. That's very defensive. Adam Wilkes says Gardner needs more practice at dead balls before I sing his praises again. And Gregory says, can well, you "Don't put he... him on set pieces. Gregory get says, somebody else you... on set pieces. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about that. that." Gregory says, "Can you get your Xmas decorations up for next week?" Ah, uh, right, okay. Or well, yeah. we're certainly not going to be here on Monday anyway, are we? No. Uh, so no. are we going to do Tuesday? I'm happy to do Tuesday. Yeah. Do Tuesday. Yeah, I'm Tuesday seven thirty till nine next week will be the Tilt and Talk Show. Let's hope we have good news, and let's hope Mr. Fun can put at least one pound in his swear box, mm, in his well, smile box. Sorry, in his smile box. Um, right, if you all love Czech and Doy, just type on Doy now, please, if you would. <laughs> no, <dear, laughs> no, <dear. laughs> Uh, Gardner is an average player and not the answer. Uh, Gardner's set pieces are like Undoy's passing. Gardner used to be so good at it, didn't he? Gardner may be an average player, but is he is he less average than what we've already got in that midfield? Yeah. I'm not naming any names. (laughs) You know, (laughs) what the only thing people can praise Undoy for. Is running around and throwing his body on the line. Now, Gardner will do that, I can see. Gardner will do that. Yeah. And more. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he will. Oh, yeah. he will. Yeah, it's I, I, don't, I, don't know what to, I don't know what more to say. Oh, dear. Mr. Pond's thoughts have suddenly broken themselves. <laughs> 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 All right, it's the big ding dong dingle derby on uh, next Monday night. Normally with the talk and talk show, but we aren't going to be doing it next Monday because of the game. No, no. Um, Andrew Roberts, no, no, no. can you just read that? Andrew Roberts. Andrew one, Roberts, yeah, go on, go on. Can you get it? Uh, uh, could you give a shout out to my brother, Blues fan, all his life apart from. Uh, the Blues fan all his life and passed away on Friday. Keith Roberts, God bless you, Keith. We're um, sorry about that. And Andrew, uh, thoughts go to your family and all your friends, yeah. mate. Yeah. Never nice, never nice. Never know us now, isn't it? Um, and I did see was a saying about passing good wishes on to uh, the Blues Ladies goalkeeper. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. we did read, uh, you know, the, the, the club statement mm. another. But you know, again, that's awful sad news, isn't it? Mm. Gardner, we need Gardner back, best passer in the team, um, and but boy, um, it's Vanderberg is out of contract 2018. Offering off him. Well, the Reading Centre. Mm. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Um, mate, th- that, that's another one you can look at as well. Who's going to be out of contract in the summer? Yeah. And, and you know, those clubs are probably going to be looking to offload them, and, mm. and maybe there's players there that could be brought in. Mm. Uh, lots of um, support coming in tonight for uh, Czech and Doy. Um, good. I'm not surprised. Fantastic. He was man of the match on Saturday. Do you know what? I'm not surprised either. <laughs> 
<laughs> Especially as half of them seem to be coming from Dennis. Because <laughs> there's two out of the four on the screen I can see now that are from Dennis. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not surprised that he's getting a lot of love because he does things that people love. <laughs> I think Dennis is I love. Stuck. I know, yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that people can pass the ball from one player to another. Mm. That's what, mm. I, I'd rather see that, but... OK, it's a ding-dong derby then. Uh, what's your predictions for the score for next Monday night? This is going to be oh. interesting. Mr Fun's prediction there for the game next Monday. We're playing table-topping Wolves, seven points ahead of everybody else in the division. Yeah. And uh, I think they've won, is it nine out of the last ten or twelve games? I think, yeah, like something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Um, I, I would absolutely love us to get something. Um, but I just don't see it. Okay. Um, so Luke Gibbs two two. We haven't, we haven't scored two goals sure in the game. Get for ages. I think three one Wolves. Ian one nil Blues somehow. Somehow, yeah. You, but you don't care how it happens. If if we beat Wolves on 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 Monday night, you, you don't care how it happens. No. Um, no. I can't see us scoring more than one, and I can I I can't see us. Stopping them from scoring. So. Anthony Lloyd. Brentford are winning apparently. Okay. That's that's. To be fair, Brentford winning is quite good because QPR are one of those sides that I could I could potentially see dropping. Yeah. Um. David Tolley early Christmas present two one to the Blues two two from Daniel Jones Eamon Colley three 0 Wolves two one Blues Paul Hart. Stephen Gill 2-1 Blues, 1-0 Blues half-time, then we get done in the second. 3-0 mm, Blues on Doy Hattrick, Simon Drew, that would just make my day. Mark Winters and Doy, that and Doy Hattrick seems day. to be quite strangely popular tonight. Andrew White has 6-0 to Wolves on Doy Hattrick <laughs> again. Blues win 2-1. Kevin Kelly, Blues 1, Wolves I think Ke- I think I agree with, I'm going to go with Kevin there, 1-3. Okay. Yeah. 1-0 in the second minute and we'll park the bus through the 88 and get a famous win from Benji. Blues 2-0, Roberts first goal. Peter Hardy's going 1-1. Undoy 1, Mr. Fun 0. <laughs> Think positive. 1-3 from Brett. 0-4. No, <laughs> That's positive, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I do, you, know, you do want to think positive and you think we have been better at home certainly than away. You know, we've picked up We've picked up wins against Cardiff and Nottingham Forest in in ways that wasn't pretty, you know. But yeah. we, we've we've dug in and we've managed to keep clean sheets against them. And I I, I would, you know, I I desperately love us to do the same. But I just think Wolves are a different animal in this division. Uh, Blues to score two, both scored by Mister Headband from uh, Alan Osborne. One nil Wolves and Doyen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I really yeah. hope not. I, can't, yeah. I, can't, I don't know I, if I'd be able to do that on two. I, I can't call him. I can't, he's on Doy on Fifi. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is. 2 0 Blues from Sam Bailey's coin, you blue boys. Uh, don't think we're going to get t- uh, 10, Steve, no matter what. Uh, Chris is. We get mauled by five or six goals. Will Cottrell be sacked? No, I don't think so. Not that no, he, no but it'll no. be. It will be horrible inside that ground if we get battered. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Ray says, I can't see Stockdale conceding three. Mm. Is Wolves, yeah, it's an interesting one. Is Wolves manager uh, banned from the dugout this week? Because he got sent off, didn't he? Against? Yeah, I got sent to the stand, yeah. Bolton? Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Well, not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure about do that. We, do we honestly think that's going to make a fat lot of difference? <laughs> 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 no, no, no really, I don't. No. Um, like I said, no. you, you do look at the positives and... You hope Adams is back fit. If yeah. Adams is back fit, he brings something different. Mm-hmm. And their best player isn't playing in Neves, but they've still got. I mean, they've still got so much quality on that pitch. Mm, um, true. Uh, Mark Winters, if Ndoy gets the winner, Mr. Fon should wear an I Love Ndoy T-shirt. Could you make him one for them? Oh. Well, well, well. Where has that hour and a half gone I have to? No idea. Um, yeah. Well, a bit of a strange week, really. With um, what? Getting a point? <laughs> well, not, 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 so, not so much that, but obviously the, the news that come out of Blue Lane's camp. Oh, that's news, awful. Though, that's yeah. news about that. I found a little earlier.
Good night. Good night, Chris. Good night. <laughs>